We have found it! It's right there! Oh, that's our new home that we get to see for the very first time. We have bought it over a month ago already. But it's there! Let's go oh, take a look. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know that is way bigger of a boat. You want the red one? No, we'll take the blue one. Looks good. Yeah. Uh, the through holes look like they've been. I guess maybe that maybe they put some sort of sealant around when there's this style where it's yeah, through bolt. CNC smile that'll need to get filled in, mostly cosmetic, I believe. It's max prop. Yeah. Feels smooth. Tying off the ladder and checking out the boat. Wow, this is exciting. Oh, like, what is going on, First looks at the top of the deck. Make sure every step is safe. <laughs> yeah, take your time. <laughs> How much easier is it to walk around deck? Wow, there's so much space. We usually have to crawl around the stays. No, it's just like, wow. Walk wherever you want on either side. I know. And there's no lifelines right now because he actually had some brand new ones made. They're just not installed yet. But so far, everything looks kind of up to par, up to what I was uh, expecting. Wow, this feels so crazy. This is nice! And like the arch is so beefy! Yeah! Super it's awesome! Solar, wind... Oh, so nice having all this room in the know. back! This is weird! <laughs> oh, mine is a lot of space in the It's a deep locker for just some side hatch. Down to other important business. Oh, man! Welcome home! Oh my god! Look at my galley! It is magnificent and massive and there's so much storage! You want to go down for it? Oh, this is... Oh, this is wonderful! Go run! Welcome home, mon amour! Did you stay? Get that! She only wants to climb. Carl, you've got too much space to explore. Let's go back in the bedroom. Hey, look at this. That is only one little storage compartment for our clothes. And I can already put more clothes than what we had in our other boat. And there's like four, three other, four other doors. Oh no, Carl wants to go explore. Yeah, she's like, I've been tied in a car for way too long. We also have a full shower, standing and sitting shower, where you don't have to sit on the toilet. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. A sink, some more storage yeah. back there. Storage. Huge <laughs> square bed. Oh man. Another locker. Wow. The storage in this place is insane. Oh, yeah. The bar are wonderful. The door continued too. Okay, in there there's a bathroom I can't open with one hand. And then we have Coral's bedroom. A little small to be here by yourself, but that's gonna be your room on the move. Yeah, this could work. <laughs> you think? I think we've been living life the wrong way. Yeah, when you see how much space you have on board with still storage with tons of water storage and fuel storage and two bathrooms oh yeah uh, i haven't seen our bathroom yet comfortable living space where we, we can just lounge this is uh, gonna be quite the change there's a lot of work to do but nothing that so far nothing that's crazy that we didn't expect i'm sure we'll find something it's guaranteed mm -hmm. but a lot of my ang anxiety with getting this boat starting to go away because the more I look around, the more I'm not seeing too much crazy things. And the boat is awesome so far. Cheers to our new home. Upgraded, pre-upgraded. I'm gonna be able to 
also do like pretty much do yoga. That's amazing. It is late at night, but uh, meanwhile, Coral sleeps. Corey and I are opening every board on the floor. Yeah, we're having fun just poking our heads in all the holes and finding out what we find. There's a lot of nooks and crannies in this boat. <laughs> and we might be replacing those batteries. Unknown age, unknown everything. Look at that beast! Oh yeah, coolant is leaking. This is way bigger than ours. 64 horse, where's the beak? Instead of 13. Like, like look at the space! <laughs> like the access, yeah. And we have an access from the side there and a whole door over there as well. Bon matin, Tu veux déjà brasser tes dents? No salon toi! Pizza delivery! This one normally is like a rubber impeller. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the sticker is there. At least you have the. You can talk. Having fun? I felt really tall on the other boat on this one. I feel so much shorter. I actually got to climb on the stairs and another foot under the stove so that I can see what I'm cleaning up there. There's a lot of headroom in this boat. Well, for things to fix, <laughs> I was pouring some water in the sink and then realized it was dripping, but uh, the holes wasn't quite connected. <laughs> So it just popped right out, so I'm going to tighten this up. Are you helping mom, Coral? I don't know about that one. Helping or scaring herself. She's doing pretty good. We have drawers where I can put all my cutlery. Although I have to buy new one. But it's kind of cool, like we didn't have real actual drawers on the other boat. They were really, really small, so most of my stuff wouldn't fit, so I had to put that in one of those big drawers. Not very well recognized. Like here, I'm actually gonna have all my kitchen, all my galley for boaters. Like there's a whole terminology with the boating world. But I'll have my galley organized. Especially if she puts things in it instead of taking... Go ahead. I'm coming up. She can climb all the way to the top. But you got why do you gotta carry something with you? You crazy girl. Always. Having fun? Uh, not really. I mean we knew there were some leaks, but man, they're pretty bad leaks. No wonder there's like water stains and water damage in some spots. I don't know how long they've been like this. Some of them have been like this for a while, I think. But man, they're they're leaking. <laughs> they're, they're not just dripping a little bit. So there's water coming in there. That's the bad one. Which we knew about, but holy my it's pouring. We have labeled with little sticky notes the worst of the port lights. Mom's cleaning up. Coral's helping. Not so much. <laughs> no, no, no. She's more like getting everything soaked, including herself. I eat. It's hard to get anything done. <laughs> My job is dealing with these windows that are leaky, leaky windows. But I love the stainless. It's gonna make things a lot easier. We don't have to worry about them cracking. But let's see what's underneath this, what kind of surprises we have in wait. Remove some silicone that was put on and whatever else we have underneath. Scraping tools. Did pretty decent work of this job. A decent gap all the way around. The water was getting in behind over here. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It's gooey. One out. Wow, it's a lot. There's only left to do. Well, the reminder of the wood came off with the window. Is yesterday it was just pouring rain inside the boat. <laughs> A bit more resistance at the top, but there's like nothing at the bottom. You can see the seal's That's just gone. Alright, whenever you're ready. Yeah, this one had like a beauty tape or something. Yeah. Like Almost looks like a gasket. <laughs> yeah. That's a gasket. Bye, Coral. Bye-bye. Watch out, Antoine.
Well, we got a little pause from work. We're gonna go hang out on the beach a little bit with Coral and Alex's brother. <laughs> Oh. All right, grab the next one. Are you helping dad? We're just cleaning up the window, okay? I'm trying to take off all of the little dirt and stuff. Well, that's not very helpful. Work is a little slower with coral around. Let's get shame on that one. What are you doing? <laughs> See, she knows what she's supposed to do. Oh, so I put some garbage bags just in case it would rain because we have major holes in our wow. boat on those two windows. Our cleaning products, we have, uh, there's also some acetone and um, a few other products, but these are the two that we've been using to clean up most of the old crap that was on there. There's all this sticky, rubberized stuff that makes a mess and uh, it's almost butyl but really sticky butyl and some of it was you know old and you know not really making a seal anymore and the rest of it was just this goo um, that gets all over your hands anyway uh, mineral spirit seems to remove it and so does varsol or paint thinner and um, yeah apparently varsol is apparent pretty much paint thinner so uh, Varsal is like a Canadian product, I think. Oh, it's all shiny and clean. It's been at it for hours trying to get rid of all that black gunk. And Alex is having fun now with the silicone because people love silicone for some reason. I don't get it. We had some silicone in our other boat as well. And now I'm just scraping away silicone and it doesn't come off easy whatsoever. But yeah, these kind of things, just stay away from them. Like they don't, in my mind, they do not belong on a boat because every window that we've seen with silicone on this boat and the other boat, they leak. It's, it's just something that doesn't really adhere well, doesn't make a good seal. And it's so hard to remove. And you really gotta make sure you remove everything. Otherwise, it nothing else will adhere really well and make a good waterproof seal. It makes like a grease on like the yes. on the gel coat, on the stainless. It's just a pain. I've been like scraping away with a little green scrubby, with a little razor blade, just trying to get it off. It's taking forever. Another thing that we've tried, I mean that one is black, we've never really used a black one, but Sikaflex 291. I have used that on some of our port lights on our Hunter 33. And it kind of works, it's not too bad, but I feel like the ones I've done with 291, they just didn't quite last as long, and I had to redo them. And so that's the medium priced product. And my favorite, I mean, it is the most expensive one, and Corey and I, we try to do everything on a budget, so if there is a cheaper product, an alternative, we will try it. 4200 3M thing has been, it's been the most durable, and it's getting us like the best seal. So that's definitely something that we're gonna be redoing all the windows with because it just, it really works good. Not 5200 because- No, 5200 you probably will tear the boat by trying to remove your port lights. So 4200 does a good seal, but you can still remove it if you need to. There is something else that we have tried on our port lights. It's polyurethane. Not expensive, affordable, but it just doesn't. Um, salt and UV kind of damages it. It turns yellow and it just loses its elasticity. So that's when I've pretty much had to redo every port light that I did with polyurethane on the other boat. But for windows, this is the winner 4200. And some Personally, I like Butyl. Butyl but and 4200, in my mind, is a perfect combination. We haven't like well, we haven't used that on port lights. Yeah. It's just that sticky and it oozes off. Really good, I find, for things that you mount on deck with a screw that you can really kind of crank on it and get a good seal. Like the chain plates, it works very good for them, or stanchions. Like we redid all the stanchions on the other boat and we had used Butyl tape. 
and that was amazing like we never had to redo them which we're gonna have to reinstall all the extensions so and for the ones who don't really know what butyl tape is because it's not really tape it's like it's like sticky play-doh yeah that's pretty much what it is it's like it's really it's like valuable. a roll you can yeah and we'll probably actually use it on this style port light because the bolts through bolts all the way down to the outside pl plate, which makes it so that we can actually sandwich the two plates together and squeeze them. So butyl might actually work well for that and then go around the outside with our 5200 around the seat. 4200. Sorry, 4200. A little fast forward in the future because we have learned some things. Silicone is a better sealant, but it is not an adhesive. So actually what we're going to be using to do this window again is a 3M VHB mounting tape so that the window, the plexiglass can adhere much better to the actual fiberglass. But prior to that, we're going to be removing all of the fasteners cleaning all those holes real well and putting some epoxy just to clean them all up, cover them, and then putting the tape on top of it. We're really hoping that they uh, till 7.95, but time will tell. Hopefully our window stops leaking. We are ready to go do some work. I have got coral tied up in the snuggly because outside there's no lifelines right now. So I'm gonna keep her close to me. Mm. You're making it easy to film, Coral. <laughs> oh. You don't like it? A little challenging. Getting ready to seal it up. There's a few bolts that I have nothing to grab onto, so I'm gonna replace them with some screws for now. Fill everything with 4200. With that. Yeah, well, I'm gonna start with the bolts that are good and I'm going to put a, some 4200 inside the hole. Okay. Oh, you're on it though. Yeah, we'll wipe it off. Uh, I'm not gonna go like super tight or anything, but I should have put some inside the actual holes, come to think of it, because this, yeah. but I'll just make sure to squeeze it far in. Some of the bolts aren't holding as good as I would have wanted. But we'll see how it holds up. If it doesn't leak, I'll be happy. I'm gonna warm up the coffee mugs. The coffee's gonna be cold. I hate winter. Why did we do this? It's only nine degrees. Ugh, I see my breath sometimes. No, oh, I'm in front of the heater, you can't do it anymore. Just get to feel it, huh? Oh, <laughs> 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 
Sea Dragon, a gazelle, what is it, 43, 42? Well, it's like 50 with the boss grip. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. We've been on it before. It's a Chinese junk rig, so it's completely different than our sloops that we're used to. 